CNN investigates keeping you informed about a deadly crash that killed three people in Orange County. Troopers say 20-year-old UNC student Chandler Kania was found was drunk and driving the wrong way when he collided with a car in I-85. And two bars he's not here in La Res are accused of serving him alcohol the night of the crash. Both face lawsuits and could see stiff penalties from the ABC Commission. Now, in response to this, many Chapel Hill bar owners are taking extra caution. WNCN's David Hurst has a story. There are dozens of bars in downtown Chapel Hill, and since it's a college town, there are going to be students under 21 who want to get into these bars. Top of the Hill on East Franklin Street tries to avoid this by having strict policies in place for checking IDs. I think the idea of, of making sure that you're not targeting folks that are underage to begin with is a key component in terms of not actually running into those kind of problems. Police say Chandler Kenya went to two Chapel Hill bars. He's not here and the residence before he drove drunk and killed three people back in July. Kenya used an older friend's ID to get into the bar. Passing around IDs as well as forged IDs are common in college towns. Those biggest issues is they won't have the holograms. Or Lindsay especially... Ewing with Sub Dogs on East Franklin Street sees a lot of forged IDs and says they seem to be getting more advanced. They're getting really, really good without doing a fake ID, so it is hard. You have to be really cautious about what you check. Ewing says lately she's confiscated a lot of IDs from other states. Now, this is a real Georgia ID, but IDs like this from states other than North Carolina can raise red flags for employees. Most bar owners require their employees to go through training on spotting fake IDs. The ALE holds classes several times a year to show employees what to look for. The importance of looking closely at IDs has been reiterated since the incident over the summer. You know, it's important to comply with the law, and unfortunately, recent events have shown that, that, that there is a level of maturity necessary in order to make sure that people can enjoy themselves responsibly. In Chapel Hill, David Hurst, WNCN News.